venous disease can cover a very broad spectrum. Uh, veins can become problematic when they either dilate uh, or when they form clots in them. And these vein problems can be uh, at the beginning stages, just a cosmetic concern. Uh, spider veins uh, can be cosmetically displeasing to patients. Uh, there can be a progression through varicose veins that can result in uh, achy legs, heaviness, swelling, ropey veins that are uncomfortable and unsightly, uh, right up through very advanced uh, venous problems where uh, you can have severe swelling in your leg, um, uh, skin changes, darkening of the skin color, ulcers. Um, uh, the, these problems can really present a major impact on patients' lives. The initial signs of venous disease are, are cosmetic. Um, small little veins at the surface of the skin. Um, they usually come around the ankle or the knee, but then there can be progression. Uh, so as vein problems progress, uh, swelling, heaviness, achiness, uh, sensation that at the end of the day you need to sit down and put your feet up uh, because you're just tired. Uh, people often avoid uh, situations where they have to spend prolonged periods of time on their feet. On the varicose vein side of things, if you find that you have tender veins, swollen ankles, heavy legs, discomfort at the end of the day, those are all signs of venous disease. Those are things that should bring you to your physician for evaluation. On the other hand, uh, if, if you find that you have sudden swelling in the leg, have shortness of breath, chest pain, those are possible signs of a blood clot in your leg. The blood clot might have only been in the leg or it might have broken free and gone to the chest. Those are urgent situations that require urgent attention. What used to be the standard of care for varicose veins was an operation called ligation and stripping. That procedure is still done on occasion, um, but has been largely replaced by a minimally invasive approach to treatment of varicose veins. This procedure is called endovenous ablation, has a few other names that you might have heard of. There's radiofrequency ablation, there's endovenous laser therapy. The basic idea is that a catheter is placed inside the vein, the catheter tip is heated, withdrawn across the vein, causing the vein to close, eliminating the problem. All of those symptoms and signs that impair your quality of life, that have you not going to the mall because you can't walk in for two hours and, and feel okay at the end of the day, not going to your kids' sporting events, those we make tremendous progress on. So dramatic improvements in the overall quality of life are the norm after treating venous disease. This center provides probably the most comprehensive and advanced treatment for severe venous diseases of any place in the eastern United States. What we like to do is to direct therapy when appropriate only to those vein segments that need to be treated. So patients are not put into a, a factory a conveyor line technique here. When one of our doctors uh, sits down to discuss what the best treatment is, we're not talking about the best treatment for anyone on the street. We're talking about what is best for your problem and how it fits into your life.